I thought I'd um, take this opportunity here to sort of narrate over some of these photos. This is a shot that was pretty much taken as is. Um, it was an air show. The flag ended up being the foreground. And it's all about timing. Uh, setting the camera up. Waiting for the shot. Sort of a similar shot, but this one was in Photoshop. It was two separate photos, and I actually merged them together. Um, I used layers, and I messed with the opacity of each layer, dodge and burn, you know, to get the dark around the perimeter. So this was sort of created. Each photo in itself wasn't that great, but it turned out okay when you merge them together. I was sort of happy with it. It's sort of like a um, artistic photo instead of just a regular photo. This is one that was um, taken in Muncie, a local meet, and it was a filter called Lucas Art. It was added to the picture in Photoshop, and it creates a um, sort of a artistic look. And you can adjust how much effect you put in with this filter. Uh, this one was quite a bit. Uh, the next shot here coming up, it's taken at Muncie. It's windy flying his plane. And this shot could have been improved with the shutter speed being a little faster. I think if the shutter speed was faster, I think I would have got the plane without a blur. And the trick is, is timing here on that shot. This is another one where it was merged together in Photoshop. It was two separate photos. A um, friend of mine, Steve Ragsdale. And that's his airplane. I just merged them to make a little, like a collage type photo. In this photo, I think I shot with a monopod to where I put the camera up in the air to get this shot. And it's uh, Lucas Art again, and you can do the same thing in Photoshop with um, shadows and highlights. It gives a different effect. This one, this was shot with a Canon 20D and a 500 millimeter lens, a prime, and the angle it was shot at it almost looks like you're in the air with the airplane, but you're not. This was shot from the ground. But it takes a really long lens to reach out and get this effect. Plus, the plane has to be at the right angle. And no Photoshop effects, just a little sharpening and uh, cleaning it up. This one was shot probably with a 500 millimeter, but it could have been shot with something shorter. Um, just because you're at an air show and you don't have a really long lens doesn't mean you can't get some really decent pictures. You just have to look for them. Along the same lines, I think this was a wide-angle lens with a filter on it. It was um, a polarizer filter, which in the middle of the day, you're having trouble with the, the sun beating straight down. But if you put a polarizer on a wide-angle lens and you start walking up close to some of this stuff, you can get some really neat, really neat photos. This was at Oshkosh. It was shot... After everybody went home, I mean, the golden hour, a lot of times at an air show is non-existent because the air show is finished. But if you ever have static displays, planes sitting around at this hour of the day, morning or night, uh, walk up on it and take advantage of it. You can get some really neat effects. And these, like I said, the golden hour, this, this time you know, where you can get this, might be more than an hour, give or take, but you can get some, some dramatic effects just by uh, timing, waiting around, and knowing what to look for.